You were George Hardwick and still Cage Warriors, lightweight world champion. George, you said you wanted to put 100% in that fight and leave with no regrets. Tell me, did you accomplish that? Well, all I've got to say first is, hello, my friend, we meet again. It's been a while, where should we begin? I've been visualizing that, that walk to the cage for so long. It's been over a year. When I hit a year anniversary since the contenders lost, I was lying in bed getting anxiety. Stressing like what the f have I done with my life? I just, just it's like I was so happy just to just to feel the floor Just to like touch my fingers on the cage and step on the cage. I forgot there was a fight going on and then Yeah, I mean I want to finish it's ideal to get five rounds and a unscathed five rounds really After a long layoff such a tough opponent He always kept me guessing when I thought I could put the pressure when I thought it was gonna be the time to put him away he did something a bit different. He'd go for a foot sweep, he'd shoot. Uh, Butzameski, Mr. Christian Yorga, thank you so much, because so many people said no. What's wrong with you? Yeah, he seemed very hard to read. And it, it, seems, it seems like you turned up the pace in the fourth round. Did you feel he was fading a little bit and it was time to unleash the beast? I felt like there was times to like get him and put the knees and the elbows together, put that DJ clinch in, something, get a bit, get going and put the combinations together, but he always had summit, and once he locked, you know, I had to always be ready to sprawl hard as possible. When he locked his grip, it just, you get used to breaking people's grips in, a, in like a certain amount of time, but he just kept it locked. It was so hard, he managed to get his, get his recovery, you know. Mm -hmm. But like I'm saying, ideal, I want the finish. I was super critical of, even during the fight, I was critical of what was going on. I was thinking Harry would be landing more shots here. I was comparing myself to Harry, I was like, Harry was landing more shots against Prince, and he put combinations together like Harry, but then he would shoot and I'd have to defend and do this and that and the other. But five rounds, my body's fresh, some good sh happening, 28th in Paris mm -hmm. that I'm ready for. If anything, you know, I don't wish any injuries on anyone, but I'm ready. Harry will be ready. Whatever happens, we're going to stay fresh for that. That would be amazing. And you touched on Harry. I mean, to witness him becoming a champion as well. I saw you getting pretty emotional as he was playing the guitar with the belt. <laughs> that was... Tell us what, was, what that was like. It just... That was a, such a special night, Harry winning the belt. Mm -hmm. This is the first time represented not just the Hardwick brothers, but the Hardwick brothers champions, you know. Uh, there was a little bit of a different pressure, especially with the year off. It's slightly different pressure, but I just had to stick to those fundamentals. When you got an opponent like that, there's so many things I wanted to bring out, but I had to stick to the fundamentals. I even cancelled, I animation cancelled that cartwheel kick in the last second. He actually came this close to catching us. The only th reason I didn't get knocked out by that kick in the last second is because I didn't point at the floor before it. If I pointed at the floor when the 10 second went and we both went for it, he would have knocked me out with that kick. <laughs> but because I didn't point at the floor, I was like, I'm going to block. Last second I blocked. But wow. respect to him. Insane fired masterful performance again. Congratulations. Oh, uh, wow. Ah, I just want to say hello again, my sacrifice.